tell me she doesn't bring everything. Hi you guys, welcome back to my garden. So today we're getting ready to plant up these beautiful set of terracotta pots. Show you guys how to use distressed plants and have a beautiful arrangement in the end. Have to do a little bit of work to get the look that we're going to achieve. It's very, very humid in the Midwest right now. And because of that, it's like everything is suffering. Go ahead and put the soil up here. go in and do a little bit of biotone. The first plant, do not judge, and I'm actually going to move the container to the side because we're going to have to work on this plant. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to tear off everything that doesn't look good. So this is what we are left with right here. And I cut all of this off. All right. All right, so I have this out the way. Now, I'll move my container back over and it is time to get to planting. So, first things first. Let's go with this a beautiful plant. Yes, honey. So this is a Draca and a bicolor. So now technically I could divide this into three plants, but I want her to have all that she is supposed to have in this container. And so I'm gonna put her in the middle gonna butter up like this. Are you guys ready for the second plant? Now let me tell you something. When it comes to container gardening, baby, I am here for it, okay? A Celosia Dragon's Breath. Baby, I ain't come to play no games today at all. Now, you do see where some of the leaves is yellowing, so I could Pop this leaf on out. Ah. So I just pop this leaf out. And 
And then I'm gonna put her right here. I'm gonna tease off some of this root ball. And that's why I was saying like we're gonna have to do a little bit of work to make these look the way that we need it to be but hunty when we get done with this, it's going to be just a beautiful sight. Yeah. And then I'll just take this, throw it, you can put it in the compost bin. Clean this off a little bit. So we have our three plants in right here. Now it's looking a little bit rough, but trust me, I'm not done. When I get done with this container, woo, yes! Okay, so now we have that in. And so as you can see, if I turn it around, we have a little bit of blank area. So, in my container, in one of my fall, early fall containers that I did, I had a beautiful creamy yellow mum. I'll link that in the cards for us. So after you're done watching this video, you can go and watch that one if you haven't seen it. So now we're gonna come in with a beautiful pink mum. Look at that. Look at how that color, you have the color echoes that picks up from one plant to the next. It all just flows even down to the purple that's in the cabbage. So I'm gonna tuck that right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tuck that right here. Let that drape down the front. Now tell me this is not a gorgeous, gorgeous container. Now, we're not even done yet. This is just our first container. So, if she gorgeous, gorgeous, or is she not? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this container. Now, let's go ahead and fill this container in because we're not done with her. We have to make her Pristine because as you guys know, Fall Yard War is in full effect. Some might say that she's full, right? She doesn't need anything else to go in her container. No, she needs more. So we're gonna come in with Dusty Miller. So you can get these guys in a six pack for little to nothing, just coins, like tip money. And we're gonna tuck one in here. So let me show you how I'm gonna do her. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Dusty Miller. I'm gonna put one right here. I can't, I can't see this from the front. Let me know in the comments how it's looking from the front. I'm gonna tuck one in here. And I am also gonna tuck one in right here. So we have it coming. 
and you can see that silver just really shows up. I'm gonna put a little bit more soil in the back. And our first container is done. As a recap, we have our Draconia bicolor right here. We have a beautiful pink mum. We have our Dichondra Silver Falls. We have our Dusty Miller, Dusty Miller, and a Dusty Miller. We have our ornamental cabbage, and we have a Celosia Dragon's Breath. What do you guys think? We got three more to plant up. On to the next one. The first plant for our little container, a Snaptastic Orange Flame. What I love most about this plant is even though it has the orange hues in it, you can see a little bit of that pink. So it's pulling through our color scheme. And as you see, as the flowers start to age, you can see a burgundy color on the flower as well. we're going to come in with an ornamental pepper. Another purplish pink garden mum. of Proven Winners Graceful Grasses Fiber Optic Grass. Now, we're gonna to have to do some work on this plant. So what we're gonna do, very easy, no big deal. I actually bought these in May. So I, these have been in this container since May. So, So all I'm doing is going in and cutting out all the dead back down to the base of the plant. I'm going to get what I can and what I don't. It will just add to the look because you have to remember these are fall containers. So it's okay to use those grasses that maybe have a worn appearance to them. We're going to add another Dusty Miller. Go ahead and add another Graceful Grasses. have a ornamental pepper and the fruit on this is actually edible. We have a Proven Winners Fiber Optic Grass. We have a Dusty Miller. 
We have a wonderful garden mom, a snaptastic orange flame snapdragon flower. This is our second container. Now let's plant up the third. A beautiful marigold. It needs a little bit of help because it was neglected as well. I've had this for some time. And you guys, they are advertising this kale as edible as well. So, just gonna add this to the side for just a little bit of fluff. Beautiful, and it's picking up some of those burgundy with soft pink hues. A Dusty Miller to bring our theme back in. And then we have another fiber optic fountain grass. one more container tell me she doesn't bring everything back in together a burnt orange garden mom and I love how she has the burgundy undertones but if you get in close you can actually see a little bit of gold tinge in her bloom I did go ahead and add a little bit of slow release fertilizer because that is what's going to make sure I continue to get these blooms throughout the season this plant I will have to do some deadheading but I'm definitely okay with that mm -hmm. 